Hello, and welcome to this video where we'll explore how the Work Planner Notion template works. We'll walk you through the setup and show you how to make the most out of the planner. Let's dive in. The Event Planner will help you schedule all your meetings, events, and plans. Use the Schedule System database to organize everything in one place. Click the button to add a new plan for the day, which will then appear in the Inbox section. You can rename it as needed, select a category from the available options, add tags, and set the priority on a scale from 1 to 5 stars. Once you're done, click the checkbox to move your plan from the inbox to the main view. Update the status directly from the dashboard to keep everything organized. Below, you'll find weekly and monthly views for a comprehensive overview of your calendar. Use the weekly time blocking toggle to access a weekly calendar view and see all your plans at a glance. To add time blocks, access your template and configure the date property to include them. You can also set reminders in Notion to stay on track. Additionally, you can track your daily mood using the Mood Tracker database within the Event Planner. Click the button to add a new entry, select your mood for the day, and complete the form. Your current mood will be displayed here, showing only today's mood. For a full overview of your mood history, click on the database. The Tasks Management feature lets you organize and oversee multiple tasks by grouping them into projects. To start a new project, click the New button and give it a name. You can then create tasks associated with this project. Click New in the Unscheduled section to add a new task, rename it, and open it as a page. Enter the time spent on the task and update its status. The progress bar will automatically adjust based on the task status. Return to the dashboard to schedule the task by dragging it to the desired date in the monthly tasks calendar. If scheduled for today, it will appear in the To Do Today section. You can also create a new task directly from the calendar. Rename it, input the time spent, and update its status. The project's progress bar will update based on the data from all linked tasks, as will the total time spent. This allows you to track the project's progress and the cumulative time spent on all tasks. Back on the Tasks Management page, below the Project board, you'll see tasks for the day with their linked projects. Further down, you'll find tasks for the week along with an upcoming roll-up. An overview of your month is also available below. Additionally, you can easily add notes and ideas with just a click. From this section, you can monitor your work habits to keep your routine on point as a worker. Start by setting up your work habits here. Track them by clicking to add a new entry for the day. The progress bar for each entry will automatically update, as will the status on your dashboard based on your daily achievements. The Daily Habits Report will provide monthly progress updates and show the number of days you've successfully completed. Scroll down to explore the monthly habits. To customize, click on a page to access it. Select the habit you want to adjust and rename it as needed. Use the checkboxes to clear data for either the month or the entire year. 
The quarterly habit section functions in the same way. The time tracking feature lets you effortlessly track the time spent on tasks. Start by clicking the first action button to create a new line, then name your task. When you're ready to stop tracking, click the second action button. The task will move from the inbox to the regular view, showing the time you've spent. To clear the task from the regular view and move it to the archive, simply click the third action button. The OKR section allows you to set objectives and track them with key results. It's organized into two parts, an area section and an objective tracker table. To start, Click the New button to add a goal, which will automatically be linked to the corresponding area based on where you created. Set the objective you want to achieve, then enter your key result. As you input your result, the progress bar will update automatically, and it will also adjust the overall progress for the entire area. Click the corresponding button to add a new resource and access your new page. Then, choose from five different types of resources. You can add a cover by uploading a file from your personal collection or embedding a web link. Feel free to add tags. Select one or multiple as needed. After that, enter the author, and there you have it, a new resource ready for your workflow.